Hey guys, this is Jagan signing up from Tech Tutor. In this video podcast, we are going to see how to write a basic multi-threaded application using Qt. To demonstrate this, I am going to you be writing a console-based application. Okay, let's begin with that code. So I am going to write a mythread.h, which is going to extend from Qt. So in Qt, you have some you have a header file called Qt-thread, which is required for the multi-threaded application. So I'm going to include that followed by as this is going to be a console based application, I would like to include Q debug. Okay. I'm going to name the class as my thread. This is going to extend from Q thread. In Qt, every thread has a method called run, which is the entry point function for the for all the threads in Qt. Okay. Okay, we are done. I'm going to provide implementation for this run thread proc. I'm going to split this window. Okay. I'm going to include the my thread dot h and then override that method called my thread run. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to print the thread ID. So this is required that uh, this function is called within the thread context. So Q debug, I'm going to say thread ID is, I'm going to invoke the static method, Q thread current thread ID. So as, as expected, it's going to print the current thread ID. It is important to call this method with the, within the thread context. That's the only thing that we need to be careful. Okay, we are done. So at this point, we are good to go with the main. I'm going to split this window again so that we can write the main referring the other window. I'm going to use Q core application here as we are going to write a console based application. And the next is our my thread header. Okay, we are done. As the Q core application instance expects command line arguments, I'm going to receive it from main and then pass it on to Q core application instance. Okay, we are done. So I'm going to cure, create the Q core application instance. The app argc. We can create a couple of threads using our my thread. Let's create three threads. Okay. And we're going to start the threads by calling the start method. When we invoke the start method, it is internally going to call the run method. Okay. And I'm going to start the event loop. We're done. So at this point we have main.cpp, mythread.cpp, mythread.h. Okay. Using QMake, I'm going to create the project file. Okay. So now we have the project file, which is a QT's proprietary project file, which is used by the QT creator ID. As we are not interested in using our compiling with the Qt ID at this point. So we would like to create a make file out of this. So the way to do it is by invoking the QMake. Now we have a make file. Okay, so we are done. And we are good to compile the code at this point. Okay. Looks like there is some error um, at line number five. Current thread ID is not a member. Okay, there is a typo there. Let's open the my thread CPP line number five. Okay, and this is going to be small i, small d. Okay, we are done. We'll run this code. 
at this point we are able to see the three three thread ids that we created okay uh, now let's try to differentiate these three thread ids from the main thread so we can do it like this so before we start these threads let's print the thread id of the main main thread id is q thread current thread id okay we are done let's compile yeah now we have all the three thread ids okay so this is the main thread id and these are the three threads that we created all the thread ids are different and the main thing that you need to remember is that you have to call this method current thread id within the thread context if you are not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe so that you can see more such videos thank you